is the Miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead with a leftover makeover meal. Pork stew! Okay, so what we have here is that piece of pork roast that we, the smothered pork roast, two onions, four really wrinkly potatoes, a jar of carrots, and a packet of zesty brown gravy mix. Well, this is going to be real simple, folks, because it's Saturday, and I don't feel like cooking, and you know it's going to be a crock pot meal. I told father what I planned, and he said, sounds good to me. We're just going to dice this meat up. It's cold and stiff. And start dropping it in the crock pot. All right. That onion here, because you know how things go. Got to have onion. Now, how much liquid does this gravy need? One and a third cups. Eh, it's going to be a little thin, so I might add two. Let's get the eyes off of these before I try and approach them with a peeler. This is how often we actually eat fresh potatoes, guys. I guess I should have canned these up, but... We're gonna make it make them work with what we have. Do 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 do. We'll use this and we'll rinse them. Okay. Our crock pot is on high. These have been rinsed. I'm going to cover this with zesty brown gravy powder. And because there's more than probably two cups of liquid in the carrots, I'm just going to add a packet of chicken gravy too because it's pork so we don't want to you know, we're not going to worry about overly much about what's going on here. Yes, folks, it's another pantry leftover makeover meal. And now, I'm just going to pour this all over top. Give it a lovely stir. Because those, ca those potatoes and onions are also going to give off liquid. Right? Pepper it. Somebody asked me why I put the heat, the pad over the top of my crock pot. Very simple reason. You lose a lot of heat through here, right? So this is on high for the next three hours and we put our hot pad on it to keep the heat in. Now, oh, Father says this is starting to smell good. And are the, oh, the potatoes are all nice and cooked. Oh my God! The lid just fell off my, the handle just fell off my crock pot lid. Look at that, fell right off. Rotten buggers. I told you, I, I hate these plastic handles on lids. Okay, so this is going to probably be another 10 minutes or so, but isn't that delicious looking? Now listen guys, it's Saturday, Papa's in his boxers on the couch, and he doesn't want to do a thumbs up tonight, but he said, just by the smell of it, it's going to be a winner winner. So let's just see if these potatoes are not quite cooked all the way through. So there it is, your roast pork leftover makeover meal. Ow. Now you know I couldn't let the, yeah, don't look at my hair, okay, it's morning. Now you know I couldn't let that breaking of the lid pass without trying to do something about it. Why would they put plastic handles on a hot crock pot? They're doomed to fail. Let's see what we can do. What I have here is an assortment of things that I thought might work. Now the first thing is 
this always catches on my pocket, so I'm taking the lower cupboard door knobs off my pots and pans lid, or off my pots and pans doors. But the screw is too long. So we're gonna have to make a spacer. Also, these lids are meant so that if that handle breaks and you don't have the correct tools, you can't do anything about it. Let's just see about that. Now, first things first, we have to get here my Dremel. Well, it's not a Dremel, it's a it's a rotary. They call it a rotary tool. But Dremel was first, so it's gonna unfortunately be nicknamed Dremel ever since. And this I don't can't find my set of screwdrivers, but that's okay. So let's first try vice grips. Now I'm going to recommend you be really, 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 really careful with this. Okay, at least we got a grip on it, right? Now we're going to lefty loosey it. <sighs> Daddy was getting the race car out of the out of the snow yesterday. Look at that. And then he fell off the top of the car or off the trailer. He was was it off the trailer? Yeah, off the wheel well of the trailer. He fell off the wheel well of the trailer trying to take the tarp off. I did it, Daddy. I got the screw out. Now here's where the rotary tool comes into play, folks. Now if you have all you have is like wire cutters or and you like I was gonna use this. This is the spring rod for my curtain and I was just going to cut this off with with tin snips or get Howie to cut a piece off and then open it up again. But that won't be necessary, will it? Now the screw is that long plus you got to leave room for the um, you have to leave room for the lid. So let's just go a little bit shorter. hot. Okay. Let's just pick off any little metal pieces. And remember, this will be going through the dishwasher. So now, I'm pretty sure that this spacer is now, see, this is plastic, but remember the lid was plastic. So let's just see. Oh, almost perfect. Now, because this screw is so long and I don't feel like going to the hardware store for another screw, we're going to pop this up through here and see how well we've done. We'll get our screwdriver and we'll hold it the screw in place. I'm just gonna tighten this down as far as that spacer will let me. And Bob's your uncle. It may be high, but I fixed the lid. I jerry-rigged it, yes, but that's solid and it's metal, except for this little plastic spacer part keeping the tube in place or reinforcing the metal tube done now it's going to go through the dish it's going to get scrubbed and put through the dishwasher with the crock pot but this is functional again this is the mrs wolfie yeah don't look at my hair this is the mrs wolfie from our half acre homestead saying don't throw out the baby with the bath water now sometimes the solution is simple but the company makes it difficult, but there's always a way around it. Fix it yourself. Take care, God bless.